this video we will discuss the problem fitting the array. The problem says that Geek is playing an array game. He is weak in the concept of arrays. So Geek is given two arrays, array ARR and array BRR. Both of them are of the same size that is n. So both of them are containing n integers each. The array ARR will be said to fit in the array BRR if by arranging the elements of both the arrays, there exists a solution such that the ith element of the first array is less equal to the ith element of the second array for all the indexes. And we have to find if we can uh, rearrange the given array ARR and BRR in such a way such that array ARR can fit into the second array BRR or, or not. So basically what we have to do is we'll be given the array ARR and we'll be given the array BRR. So ARR is the first array, BRR is the second array. We have to rearrange if required, we have to rearrange the array ARR and array BRR as well such that array ARR fits into the array BRR. Now what is the definition of fits? So fit means that array ARR will fit in the array BRR if the every ith element of the array ARR is lesser or equal to every ith element of the array BRR. And if this holds true for all the indexes, for i starts from 0 and i is uh, lesser than n for all the indexes, if this condition holds true, then we will return a true that okay, after some rearrangements in the array ARR and BRR, this condition is valid for all the cases and we'll return a true in that case. Otherwise, we'll return a false. So let's quickly see the sample example here. So suppose we have been given the sample example as this. So if we have been given the sample example, where we have been given the first array ARR as 7, 5, 3 and 2. And we have been given the second array BRR as 5, 4, 8 and 7. So now if we will look in both the arrays, so we can say that if we look at this particular zeroth index, so the element here is 7 and the element in the corresponding second array is 5. So the condition is not true that the ith element of the array ARR should be less equal to the ith element of BRR. This does not hold true. So how can we do it more optimally? So what we can do is we can sort both the arrays. So first, first quickly sort the first array. So in that case, what will happen? We'll get 2, then we'll get 3, 5 and 7. So we have sorted the first array in ascending order. Now quickly let's sort the second array as well in ascending order. So what will we get? We'll get uh, after that we'll get what? We'll get 4 then we'll get 5, then we'll get 7, and then we'll get 8. Now you can observe that what we get. So if we look at the 0th index, so 2 is less or equal to 4. So the condition is true for this index. If we look at the first index, i is equal to 1. So 3 is less or equal to 5. So again, the condition holds true. After that, if we look at the index 2, so we can see that 5 is less or equal to 7, right? So the condition holds true. Then we move to the next index, which is 3, i is equal to 3 then 7 is less equal to 8. So the condition holds true. And in this case, we can simply return a true that, okay, for all the indexes, everything is fine. Like for every index, RFI is less equal to uh, the BRR of i. So the first ith index, uh, ith element of the first array is lesser than equal to the ith index of the second array. So we'll return a true. But what if the condition is not true? So if we look at the second example, that is 1, 2, 4 and 1, 2, 3. So suppose we have been given the array as 1, 2, 4, the first array is 1, 2, 4, and we have been given the second array BRR as 1, 2, and 3. So now, if we will observe here, so we can simply say that this, like, it is already given as sorted. So if we, even if we sort, so it does not uh, change anything here. So we can see that this particular element, 1 is less or equal to 1, 2 is less or equal to 2, 4 is not less or equal to 3. So in that case, we will return a false that for a particular index, this condition does not hold true even after sorting. So we'll return a false. Now, like why does the sorting approach work here? That is also one of the things that we need to consider here. So why does the sorting approach work here? So in this case, we can simply see that if we look at the first example here, so you can understand that if the first example array has been given as 7, 5, 3, and 2, and suppose that the second array BRR was given in this fashion. Suppose it was given 4, then 5, and then we were given 7 and 8. Okay, suppose this was given. And suppose we write this thing again. So we write, let's say 2, 3 and 5 here. So you can see that 2 is less or equal to 5, 3 is less or equal to 7, 
फाइव इज लेसर इक्वल टू एट बट स्टिल सेवन इज नॉट लेस लाइक सेवन इज नॉट लेसर इक्वल टू फोर सो द कंडीशन इज नॉट होल्डिंग ट्रू फॉर द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स नाउ वाई इज दैट सो बिकॉज यू कैन सी लाइक इफ यू विल सॉर्ट द होल फर्स्ट एरे देन एवरी इंडेक्स विल बी फॉलोइंग द कंडीशन दैट एर फाइव इज लेस इक्वल टू बी आर आर फाइव ए आर आर फाइव इज लेस इक्वल टू बी आर आर फाइव दैट विल होल्ड ट्रू वेन वी सॉर्ट बट एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन्स इज यू कैन सी दैट बी कैन बी इज लेस इक्वल टू फोर बी इज लेस इक्वल टू फाइव बी इज लेस इक्वल टू सेवन बी इज लेस इक्वल टू एट एज वेल सो इफ यू वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली इज इफ यू विल नॉट सॉर्ट इट एंड लेट से लेट से दैट इफ यू अगेन लेट से वी रीअरेंज इट एंड लेट से वी पेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर टू विद दिस एलिमेंट एट सो इफ वी पेयर टू विथ एट then what happens for the lesser elements for the lesser elements for the lesser elements of b r or of i for the lesser elements of the second array we have to pair it with the higher elements of the array a r and in that case it might happen that a particular higher element will not be able to pair up will will not abide by the condition such that array of i is equal is lesser equal to b r or of i because if we have paired a smaller array a smaller element of the first array that is this element 2 if we have pair it with this particular element so this you you know that this element can uh, two can pair with any other element of the second array but the optimal thing would be that you should try to pair two with four itself because otherwise what can happen is if you will pair two with a higher element that is in case in case if you pair it with eight if you pair two with eight then actually what happens is for some other index for some other index it might happen that a higher element in the array a can be the corresponding ith element for the array uh, for the second element for the second array so in that case what you can see is like in this case you can see that 7 is getting paired with 4 which is actually not going to follow the condition that is array 5 will not be necessary equal to br or 5 so you can see that 2 can follow the conditions with all the elements but we need to choose uh, the position of 2 in such a way that it can hold true because if we will choose the minimum element here Like for the minimum element, we should choose the minimum element here as well. Because if we'll choose two here, then two, if the smallest element, like the smallest element, if the smallest element is less or equal to this element, then the situation will be best for us. So that is why we are applying the sorting approach here. Because if we pair this, if we pair this two with any other element that is five, seven, or eight, it might happen that at this particular index we might have a higher element. Let's say we might have seven here or something like that. In that case, it can never pair. so the best strategy because we want to find if we can make a pair so since we want to find that is there any opportunity by uh, by re uh, by rearranging the first array and the second array both so we will try to do what we will try to pair this uh, like we will for the ith for every corresponding ith pair we will try to have the smallest element of the first array getting paired with the smallest element of the second array second smallest element getting paired with the second smallest element and so on and so forth in this case what will happen If uh, R of I is less equal to B R of I, if that holds true, then by rearranging we will get that condition and we can simply return a true. Otherwise, we will return a false. So that is the condition that if a smaller element of the first array is paired with uh, any higher element, in that case it might happen that for uh, for any particular element of B, the condition might not hold true. So that is why we should always pair the smaller elements together, right? That is the condition here. So let's quickly write the approach here. So what we will do is first of all we will sort the array. So we will say that sort array uh, arr plus n. So we have sorted the first array. Then again we will sort the second array. So we will sort brr comma brr plus n. Right. So we will sort the second array as well. This takes log n time or uh, n log n time for both the arrays. Then what we will do is we will iterate for every index. So for i starts from zero, i is lesser than n. Then we will do an i plus plus. And then we will say that if it happens that for any particular index array phi. If uh, like if for any index a r r of i is greater than b r r of i, in that case what we can simply do is we will simply return a false, indicating that uh, the condition does not hold true and the array uh, a r r does not fit into the array b r r. Otherwise, if we have iterated for all the index and we never return a false, so we can simply return a true. That means that for all the indexes, uh, for all the i indexes, uh, a r r of i is less equal to b r r of i, and in that case, array a r r will fit into the array b r r and will simply return a true. Let's try and quickly compile this particular code. It works on the samples. Let us try and submit this code as well. So you can clearly see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases. Now coming to the time complexity of this particular approach. So as you can see that we are doing what we are sorting the first array. So that will take n log n time. Then again we are sorting the second array as well. So that will take n log n time again. So overall complexity will be n log n. Talking about the space complexity of our approach. So since we are not using any extra space, 
So the space complexity for our approach will be order of when. Thank you for watching this video. If you understood the concept and the code, make sure to hit the like button. Comment down understood in the chat section as well. And subscribe the channel as well. Thank you for watching this video.